evening. I am an ambassador here on behalf of your Supreme Overlord. Despite your civilization's incarceration, our intent has never been to destroy you, for that is something you will bring upon yourselves. piece of shit, you know that? You come into my house and start your whole gimme 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 routine. Not everything's about you, okay? Unlike you, we all have jobs. Places to be. You can't expect us to hang around just because you want us to. And yeah, we don't see you very often, but it's a choice. None of us like you. And you come around here unannounced expecting us to drop everything just because your Garfield looking ass knocks on my front door? And because you're a deadbeat, you want us to give you a handout? You know what? I should give you some goddamn toothpaste, because your breath smells like a microwave after someone burnt popcorn for ten minutes. You do nothing for this world. You quit everything. You sit there, and you say you're going to do all these big things, and how you're going to finally get your act together. But we've given up all hope on you. You're a lost cause. I can't believe we gave you a second chance when you were fired from the fucking call center because answering a telephone was too hard. You would have quit that too if you just had a little more time. And it blows my mind that I wasted so much time on you. I could have been having fun instead of taking care of your lazy ass. And this world is full of people like you, never working hard, trying to find the easy way out of every situation, and then playing the victim when something goes wrong. You're that person that everyone has in their life that needs to finally be cut off. You're a fucking parasite, and nobody likes you. Alright, well, thanks for another great birthday, Mom. When the snow starts falling, I can use this to scrape the snow off my windshield, I guess. I love you. Dwayne Johnson on the rocks. You're Jim Lee Fresco, intergalactically renowned author. That I am. I can't believe I'm meeting you. Your work is why I started writing. An unfortunate side effect of creating works that have sold more copies than the Bible. More inspirational, too. My importance to the human race cannot be measured by anything except money. I'm just blown away by your complete understanding of, well, everything. My hyperintelligence may seem like an extraordinary gift, but truly, I want nothing more than to just be like everyone else. <laughs> Your last novel, how did you instill so much realism? It felt like I was reading a memoir. When my grandfather died, I had to find a way to get everyone's attention back on me. Was he in the military as well? Oh yes, he was a fighter pilot in the Civil War. But enough about him. I am a genius and I'm very proud to have put literally every other author on earth out of work. You know, you know, I, hate, I hate to do this, but will you, will you sign your book for me? Go buy another one and bow before me. Pay for my grip, too. What's up? 
first impressions matter. If you want to be cool, just pretend, but be casual about it. The secret to being cool is trying really hard and acting like it's effortless. Today, I'm gonna give you the secret all the cool guys don't want you to know. Results may not vary. Know your sign. Imagine this scenario. You're at a party and that, that one dude you've been looking at the entire night starts walking your way, asks your sign, just don't, don't blurt it out. Make it a game and maybe draw for him. Skip school. Because fuck that, right? Have a nickname. Everyone loves a good nickname. But chances are, if you've purchased this tape and you already have one, it's probably really lame. So what you gotta do is you gotta find some cool people, give them money, and let them spread the word. Steal from your parents. Money is very important, but you don't want to be flipping burgers and then some cutie walks in. Your parents trust you, so take advantage of that. They won't suspect a thing. Plus, you need money for drugs, which leads me to... Do drugs. If there's one thing to get right on this list, it's this one. And don't just go for the soft stuff, you gotta go all in. <coughs> Become a criminal. And don't do something weak. You gotta make a statement. And personally, I recommend using a weapon. Maybe a gun? Leave the country. Uh, when going on an extended vacation, uh, you gotta make sure you pack the essentials. Gotta be dressed to kill. Wait, no, wait, wait. Uh, I mean, you gotta be dressed to undress. Police, we have a warrant. Where's my car? Come here, boy. Come here. Oh, there you are. Oh, boy. Here you go. Hands where I can see them. Don't shoot me. Or do it. I don't care. Wait, wait, wait. Were you about to drive drunk? Yeah, dude, I do it all the time. What's the problem? Don't you realize how dangerous that is? Oh, here we go with the same boring speech as always. You're not only risking your life, but the lives of others. Drinking and driving is like smoking cigarettes. I know it's bad for me, but I'm going to do it anyway. Alright, where do you live? Well, at least you're 21. Alright, now buckle up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to send you an address. I got another one. Alright. I love you too, Daddy. Do you love this country? Yeah, neither do I. That's why you should vote me, Jimothy Vance, for president. It's time to put an end to our imposed indentured servitude and put those accountable behind bars. Now, I haven't felt proud to be an American for a long time, but with my help, we can feel the same pride that a father feels when his son catches the home run touchdown winning the game. Worried about the government taking your guns? Don't worry, we will. Now you have your answer. Let's talk about healthcare. <laughs> Just kidding. I will abolish insurance across the board. You won't have to worry about paying some pesky bill to insure your car anymore. There's no one to be allowed to own cars. Everyone will abide by a lethally enforced curfew and you will be unable to leave your home without obtaining explicit permission from visiting your local DMV. Well, why don't you just send an email to request access onto your own personal property? Because the internet is going to be stripped of all its public functions, and you don't own any property. It's on our land, and we're taking it back. 
Now, I'm not telling you to vote for me because I know I will have an incredibly loyal, undereducated demographic that will follow me blindly and defend me even when fact is presented. And even if that's not the case, well, I've already got this job. This cute little voting thing y'all do, it's just to keep you, the good people, in the illusion that you are in control. Thank you. God bless America, and only America. Don't know if I'm proud to be an American, where at least I think I'm free. Kinda feeling bad for the men who died, thinking they gave their life for me. So I reluctantly stand up and sit back down, always doing what I'm told. For there ain't no doubt, I'm told to love this man. God save the 